I'm here with Firefly, getting ready to set up a normalization protocol. At the moment, the software is open, but nothing is loaded. Um, so I can just navigate to my protocol that I have created previously um, and get ready to set it up. So I can open it like this. Um, and now you can see that the protocol has appeared and you can see all the steps that are included in the protocol. The normalization protocol in this case it is a demo. Um, so it will start from a plate that contains samples that will be of the same concentration. And in order to normalize them and make them a different concentration, um, the diluent will be added with a dispensing head. To write this into a protocol on Firefly, um, there's a very handy step that is called a file fill. Uh, and in this step, uh, the user can define uh, what exact volumes will be added into each well of a plate with a dispensing head. Uh, and in order to define it, uh, we can create a CSV file. This can be created in Microsoft Excel. And in this file, you can define exactly what volume you want in the well. And then just upload the file like I did here. So here you can see that uh, I have different volumes going into different wells on my plate. Um, and this is uh, highlighted by a different intensity of the color. Okay, so now my file is linked to the step. Uh, I can start setting up uh, the actual instrument in order to do the run. It's quite useful to check out the summary to see all the steps that are included in the protocol. And the useful tab uh, of Labware and Consumables will inform you of what exactly needs to be prepared in order to do the run, so that I can come in already with all the Labware in place. Okay, and now that I know that I have all the components I need, I can start doing the setup uh, in setup and loading. This screen shows the overview of the instrument, um, the way it would look after I've set it up fully. So if I just go to next, um, the next screen prompts me to load the syringes that will be required for the protocol. In my case, I've already run this protocol, um, so I have the syringes loaded. But in case you do need them, you can just get access, uh, press get access, uh, and the instrument will bring uh, the dispense head forward and open the clamps so that the syringes can be uh, exchanged and loaded. Now, in my case, I don't need to change anything, so I can just proceed. Uh, and next, uh, I need to load my plate. This is my sample plate. Um, so I can press get access in order to have the deck in the most optimal position for loading the labware. Uh, so here's my plate with the samples um, and it goes into position U7 on the upper deck. So if I go next, uh, Next, this screen uh, guides me in loading the reagents into reservoirs for the dispense head. Um, I have already loaded them, they're present here, but in case I haven't, it will have reminded me what I need to load. So if I press next, uh, now the setup is complete and we're ready to run uh, the normalization protocol. I'm now going to execute the normalization run by pressing play. During this normalization, uh, as it is a demo, we will be starting with a standard concentration of uh, sample, which are represented by um, the blue ink in our plate on deck. And the pipetting dispense head has just aspirated uh, a bit of liquid from the reservoirs, which is colored yellow. And the normalization will be performed by adding variable amounts of the yellow liquid, our diluent, uh, which we will see at the end in gradient and color. And the different amounts that are added into each well are determined by a CSV file, um, which is uploaded into your protocol and um, is performed in a step called a file fill. So now you can see that uh, the protocol is complete. And if we have a look at the plate, we started with blue and now we have a gradient of colors that was created by the yellow uh, diluent that was added by the dispense head. And that is the end of our protocol.